But if you measure the speed of light, no matter how fast you move away from the light, or no matter how fast you move toward the light, it always shows the same speed, 300,000 kilometers per second. Let's put an example of you traveling on a bike at the speed of 10% of our speed of light, which is 30,000 kilometers per second. So the speed of light from your bike doesn't equal 330,000 kilometers per second. It remains 300,000 kilometers per second always. The speed of light is constant and doesn't depend on the speed of light source, but there is no explanation for why the value is constant. It's a fundamental law of nature. So, to maintain the constant velocity feature, space and time experience unusual features such as time dilation and length contraction. So, in this universe, everything is relative except the speed of light. With the core idea of constant velocity of light, Einstein developed his special relative theory, which gave us a new way of understanding the nature of time. We already know only light itself could travel at maximum speed in our universe. Can anything travel faster than the speed of light? To get the answer for this, let's take a look at a relativistic mass equation.